Hello Milton Keynes Literary Festival. My name is Michael Stewart. I am one of the editors of this book. We're all in it together. Poems for a Disunited Kingdom. And I'm also the founder of Gris Books, who published this book. And I set Gris Books up in 2009. Uh, and we're still going. And uh, this, our latest book, is a kind of State of the Nation collection. Um, and I'm going to read from it, because I'm also included in the book. I should say, first of all, apologies for not being here this evening. I'm double booked, um, but I'm certainly here in spirit. Uh, and this is a poem called No Dogs. Um, my mother tells me this story. My mother, whose family are Irish, uh, tells me the story of my grandfather coming over from Ireland as a young man and, uh, and not being served in pubs in, in Salford, where they lived. And I think this poem is kind of inspired by that story, really. It's called No Dogs. Dog couldn't get served in the grain and hop. The barman pointed to a sign on the back bar. No dogs. He wanted to see the Renaissance watercolours exhibition at the Victoria and Albert Museum. The receptionist refused to print him a ticket. But he ducked the rope at the entrance. He skipped the miniatures of Anne of Cleves, went straight to the Jacob Jordians. When he tried to book for Gotterdammerung, the online system rejected his Amex card. The sommelier at the Dorchester said the wine was too complex for his palate. He was kicked out of Fortnum and Mason's by two goons in top hats and tails, even though he'd prepaid for the food dye hamper. He padded grey pavements, doors latched, hasped, boarded and hooked. Then the rain came down, lead shot fell from pewter clouds. Dog looked for shelter, every bar and every public house. No dogs, no dogs, no dogs, no dogs. His fur clung to his skin. Rain ran down the gutter of his nose. He shook his coat and shivered. He traipsed through North Parade, along the main road out of town. He hit the fields east of the city, the dust of his feet into the country, dusk, frost, feet, worn. Needed a roof over his head to rest his bones. Out on the edge of Tong Moor, a farmhouse glowed on a hill. Warm lights poured and puddled. A sclerotic farmer slammed the door, it was a big, fat, bald no. Found a kennel by a mistal, trudged to the mouth of its entrance, barred, bolted, barbed, razor wired, topped by two combi locks, and a sign above the lintel. No fucking dogs. <laughs>